My spirit will be in there with you. Mm. Right in the middle of you. I'll give it to you before you get in the ring. Mm. I'll put it into you. <laughs> and when two of us are jumping in that ring, that's when I'm a bitch doesn't know what's going to hit him. Hey. Okay? been one out of three in six weeks. I came in the train to one out of two, and I've been going up since. I ain't no 193 pounds. Watch this. That's what they thought. 200 pounds, 201 pounds like this. It is not a game. Huh? Now take this hat off and this shirt. <laughs> Understand me? Take the hat off and these two shirts. Watch this now. It's just a pair of pants. It is not a game. Watch this. Watch this now. 100, 200 pounds. It is not a game. They thought I was weighed down, they wrong. So when this 200 pound touch him on his chin tomorrow, that he think it's supposed to be one out of three, <laughs> it's gonna be some shit. You know what I'm saying? Trust me. <laughs> this ain't no one out of three. Now, I tried to ask the commissioner, you sure you want to do that? You sure that right? Yeah, OK. You got to tell me but once. I said, OK. Cool. I'll take that. I will take that. He going to go into the corner and sit down. This mother in the 193. <laughs> <laughs> It didn't say 200. It said 200. <laughs> huh? <laughs> 200. You know what I mean? You are. He know what town is. What town is? He did jump on your ass time. <laughs> we would jump on your ass. He's just psyching himself up. He's scared. I'm telling you, he's scared. The guy is, is never. I think he, he, he's starting to realize he bit off a little bit more than he can chew. He's in for it. There's nothing in his past that'll ever prepare him for what he's going to get Saturday night. He's never been tested. He's never been pressured. You know, Johnny knows how to fight, man, and he's in, he's in, he's in for it. I just want to see the look on his face when Johnny steps in that ring and, and he's prancing back and forth. I want to see Jones's face.
When Bob Fitzsimmons, then the middleweight champion, beat heavyweight champion Jim Corbett in 1897, it was Fitzsimmons who said, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Now Jones attempts a feat with a high degree of difficulty as he tries to accomplish something done only once over the last century. All right, thank you very much, Bob. We get ready for the 49th fight of Roy Jones's prize fighting career, but most ring experts would say the first one since November 18, 1994, when he fought James Tony to present legitimate competitive suspense. Jones, of course, he's just got to keep his style. He's always been one to throw a lot of shots, take a deep breath, move around, do some showmanship. If he can do that tonight, things can turn around and turn around good for that light heavyweight. If. If Jones chooses to do that, and of course, that is the style he's exhibited his whole career, what can Ruiz do about it? Ruiz has got to be like a football player. He's got to bump shoulders, touch shoulders, lean and lay. When the referee tells him, break, don't do it. Wait until the referee comes in and move you off. Make this little guy tired. Let him feel those extra 20 pounds on his back. Then he can tire him out and land those shots that he'll be missing early on. Virtuosos, Robinson, Ali, and Leonard all showed when pressured that under their gleaming hoods were big engines of heart and courage. At the very least, John Ruiz should open that hood and we'll see what's inside. Live from Las Vegas, it is time for the main event of the evening, 12 rounds of boxing for the WBA. Never has the tale of the tape been more critical to the story of the fight on this telecast. For John Ruiz against Roy Jones Jr., Jones three years older at 34. He gives up three inches in height. He gives up six inches in reach. It's been reported elsewhere as high as seven and a half. Ruiz goes to the body to start out stop, and drives stop, Jones into the ropes. Stop, me, stop. Bring your punches up. No, you listen to me. Ruiz has low. pounded Jones to the body. Now they go to the center of the ring, and Roy Jones, who uses the jab sparingly most of the time, begins to jab Ruiz. Let him out, let him out. What Jones will have to do now is discourage Ruiz from punching low, going to the body. You got to hit him so hard that he'll never duck his head down there again. You're going to do some damage to Roy Jones Jr. Ruiz has got to charge him and charge him and bump him and bump him. When nothing Solid is going left on. hook. And Ruiz comes back with his own left hook and lands the first big right hand. And Jones lands the left in return. And they're fighting in the center of the ring. No weight on this kid. Bring his jab in his face and keep it in there. Hit him here, hit him there. Just keep it pumping. Keep it pumping all the time. You're doing fine. Just circle when you come out. Don't go back straight. You understand? We're doing good. As was the case in Oscar De La Hoya versus Fernando Vargas, you can see that there's a different texture to the fight when they're in the center of the ring than when they're against the ropes. Against the ropes, Ruiz would seem to have the advantages. In the center of the ring, Jones's speed may dominate. You gotta remember, all it takes is one good punch from Ruiz. At one point, He's going to be wide open for one split second. Your radar has to be on from the get-go. You have to be warmed up and ready to go. Harold Letterman, how'd you score the first three rounds? Okay, Jim. I got it three to nothing, 30 to 27. Roy Jones Jr. Jim, I just like the way he's keeping that fight in the middle of the ring. That's where he wants to fight. He's getting off the good left jabs, getting off the good lead left hooks, and, and you know, just beating John Ruiz to the punch. There's a solid right cross by Jones. Blood trickling from the left nostril of John Ruiz after the solid right hand by Jones. He's got Ruiz cautious. That's what you got to get in there and fight him if you Ruiz. You can do this thing if you get the ball in this guy. Oh! He's got him with the... Ruiz walked in 
to her right hand, and it shook him. And now Josh slips to win again. Just missed. And John Ruiz has tasted Jones's power. This is the kind of round Roy Jones would like to fight all night long. Jones attacking sparingly, conserving his energy, fighting in staccato bursts exactly the way he likes to do it. Ruiz is making a mistake of keep getting caught with shots thinking this guy can't hit. All of a sudden, those little guys will knock your head out. against Ruiz because you all know the risk. Sixteen to 112. Dwayne Ford scores the mat 117 to 111. Stanley Christodoulou sees the mat 118 to 110. All three in favor of the winner, the new WBA heavyweight champion of the world, Roy Jones. as many or more than any other current fighter and he's got another belt now and I got a hunch this is going to be his favorite one. It's congratulations a wonderful night. I'm just happy to be a part of this. Royce Jones Jr. has brought a lot of class to the heavyweights now. I love it. Ruiz didn't expect us to take the fight to him. That's how we train. That's how we train for power. Ruiz did one thing we always talked about, never let us get set, never cock the gun. And it proved tonight that the little guy can take on the big guy. The little guy, if he's got heart, if he's got spirit, all else being uh, unequal as it is, the big versus the little, if you've got heart, you can do anything you put your mind to. Nobody tell you what you can't do. You gotta love what you want. You gotta want what you love. 
Unless you get that in your mind, nobody can stop you.